Now, in all the years that we've tracked this minister, few thought that this day would actually come. A minister with the famously dismissive, some would say arrogant, self-assurance of a P. Chidambaram, actually owning up for the first time to the imperfections of the UPA's handling of the economy after 2008. Well, in perhaps his most candid interview yet to Karan Thapar, right after opting out of an electoral fight, Chidambaram also admitted for the first time that it was a mistake to stall reforms to appease political pressure. Here's the operative part of that epiphanic interview. I think our policies on distributive justice are right, we're right, but we should not have lifted the foot that had been kept on the accelerator of growth. We should have pressed on with growth, pressed on with reforms, even while we were continuing our flagship programs. Somewhere, I think, uh, uh, we thought that uh, lower growth would be acceptable. But it seems to me, people of India do not accept lower growth. After seeing the spurt in growth between 2004 and 2008, the spurt in jobs creation, the infrastructure that was added, the rise in real wages. So the people don't attach enough importance to the rise in real wages in rural India. After seeing all that, I think most people came around to believe that they don't have to be resigned to their fate, that things can and should become better year after year after year. And when that is the mood of the people, that was the time to press the accelerator of reforms. Many other things distracted the government from the main task of promoting growth. The anti-corruption movement, uh, the, the Telangana uh, separatist movement, and uh, some other issues, I think, distracted the government's attention. It's not the Congress party alone. I All think parties. every party failed to recognize that India is no longer a petitioning society. Indians are no longer resigned to their fate. They think that they can change their destiny. They can change their destiny through better government and better governance. I think that is an important change. But don't write us off so early. No, I'm not writing you off. 2004 and 2009, I like to remind my journalist friends, the journalists were wrong, the people had the last laugh, and we formed the government. So don't write us off so early. It's quite possible, quite possible, that come 16th May and the days thereafter, the Congress could be leading the next I'm government. Not